Toumani Touré s'est éteint tôt ce mardi 10 novembre 2020. Six jours après son 112e anniversaire, cette perte plurielle afflige la nation malienne à laquelle l'homme a donné tout son amour et toutes ses forces. Acteur majeur de la démocratie malienne, ATT, aura au cours de son destin exceptionnel contribué à façonner le visage du Mali moderne. Mba Hundao, born 23rd August 1950, is a Marian retired military officer and politician who served as the president of Mali between 25th September 2020 and 24th May 2021 when he was overthrown during the 2021 Malian coup d'etat. Between May 2014 and January 2015, he was Minister of Defense. Ndao was born in San Mal, joined the Marian Armed Forces as a volunteer in 1973 and graduated from the Joint Military School in Kuali Kuala the same year. In 1974, he was sent to the Soviet Union to receive helicopter training. In 1977, Dao became a member of the Malian Air Force. At one point, Dao served as an aide de camp to Malian President Mossa Trawol. He resigned from his position in 1990 in protest of interference by Trawol's wife with government affairs. Under President Alpha Omal Konar, Dao served as Deputy Chief of Staff of the Malian Air Force between 1992 and 2002. In 1994, he graduated from the Ecole de Gueule in Paris, France. In 2003, Ndao became chief of staff of the Malian Air Force. During his career, he also served as deputy chief of staff of the Malian National Guard. From 2008 until his retirement in 2012, he was head of the Bureau for Veterans Affairs and War Victims. He retired with the rank of Colonel Major. On 28th May 2014, Dao succeeded Someyol Boyel Bobeye Maiger as Minister of Defense under President Ibrahim Bobeika Keita. During his time in office, he signed a defense agreement with France. He also worked on a reorganization of the Marian Armed Forces. Prime Minister Mobdibo Keita took over from Mosamara in January 2015. Dao left office, supposedly for disagreeing with some conditions regarding the integration of deserting former combatants stipulated by the Treaty of Algiers. On 21st September 2020, after the coup d'etat a few weeks before Ndao was named president by a group of 17 electors, Asimi Goita was appointed vice president. Their interim government was scheduled to preside over a period of 18 months after the 2020 Malian coup d'etat. A spokesperson for political religious leader Mamadou Diko praised his nomination as president. Leaders of the M5 RFP active since 2020 Malian protest also signaled support. Dao was inaugurated on 25th September. Upon becoming president, he refused to grant his wife the title of first lady to prevent family members from being involved in public affairs. On 24th May 2021, Dao and Kwane were detained by the military and taken to Kati military base nearby Malian capital, Bamako. The next day, the UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres called for their immediate release. On 26th May, Dao announced his resignation. On 27th August 2021, Dao was released from house arrest, an international committee which included representatives of ECOWAS and the African Union had pushed for the authorities to release Ndao and Kwane from house arrest and welcomed the decision to do so in a statement. Not a lot is known about what is doing in 2022 and 2023, after that but he still lives in Mali, most likely went back to his home in San Mali, living as an ex-president. 
Ndawas, an officer of the National Order of Mali. Ndaro is a recipient of the Medal of Military Merit as well as the Medal of National Merit. Thank you so much for watching.